So this dissection is of a sheep kidney. And before we start, as what we did with the heart, we need to identify some external features so that we know where to cut. So here's our kidney and we instantly notice these vessels and tubes coming out and going into the kidney. But other than that, it's kind of a uniform shape. And now you know why they call a kidney bean a kidney bean. It really does look like that. So here's our hilum or hilum where all of our vessels are entering and exiting. So we're going to make a coronal cut the same way as the heart. What we're going to do is make a, an anterior and posterior equal halves of the kidney. So as with the heart, we take our scalpel and we're going to cut into here like so and go all the way around. Now that we've made our cut all the way around, we're going to make our cut into the kidney, much like we did with the heart. We're going to slice it right down the center by gently pulling apart with two fingers and your thumb and getting down into the deep part of the kidney here. Now that we've opened up the kidney, I've left these vessels intact, split this one right down the middle, um, but some of the things you're going to be identifying is this outer ring here, this inner part, these chambers here, this major chamber here, these small white parts, these striations in this outer ring, the external part. And during your lab today, you're going to need to identify all of those things. And again, same thing with other dissections. Once you're finished and you've had your TA look at all of these and quizzed you on them, you're going to be disposing of this in the big gray tub, into the bag, cleaning all your tools and cleaning the tray.